Hi there, it's Sandy Lou. How are you? I am going to a wedding this afternoon and I wanted to put some nails on, but I just want to put them on quickly. So I have these Salon Perfect and I know that I got these in a Walmart box. So let's open them up. Oh, look at that. They give you like a little satchel to put your extra nails in. Here are the nails. The first thing I need to do is to find the nails that fit on each of my nails. Now these are, I think they go this way with the um, straight across the top. I will be trimming these down. These feel really, really hard, just like the Glamnetics. That looks like a pretty good fit. I am going to pick out my nails and I will align them up. I have all the nails picked out for my nails and I put the extras in this little sack. I think that this is really nice that they give you that to store your things in. My nails have a little bit of sheen on them so I think it'd be best if I take off that polish. This I got at Dollar Tree. It's Q-Tex Swipe and Go. If you find these you should really pick them up. They're very, very juicy, as you are going to see. This is very, very saturated. Can I show you? I don't know. Well, it just is. I'm going to squeeze it out a little bit. Can you see it? See how it came out? All right, let's clean off my nails. I took off the polish and that wipe is still really, really wet. I am going to seal this with a binder clip. Put the binder clip on. I love binder clips. You can use them for so many things. And put it back in the box. I don't have any cuticles because my bad habit is sitting and pushing my cuticles back. But I don't have on um, nails. All right, I'm not real crazy about this um, glue that comes in the tube, but, uh-oh, oh, why is it so hard? I know. Where is my seam ripper? Another handy tool is the seam ripper. It's just so hard to get these things open. I don't know what they're thinking, especially for us elderly elderly oh my word okay let's start with the thumb oh let's read the directions yeah Annie read the directions clean and lightly buff nail okay select nail okay apply a thin even coat to the underside of the nail place nail over natural nail and hold for five to ten seconds and trim nails to desired length and shape. So, I cleaned things off. Whoops, gonna go get that pad that I put away. All right, the glue came right off because it was still wet. Now it says to buff things a little bit, so. That is so your nail has some tooth to it. My nails are, are pretty long for me. So that makes it easy for me to put these on and trim them down. And I will have support under the fake nail with my natural nail. All right then, let's do it. I'm just going off all the edges. Sometimes your nails last a long time usually like one or two fall off and then three or four just stay on forever all right I'm gonna press that down and hold 10 seconds maybe 15 I went for 30 seconds you know they give you 30 nails in here and I had a really easy time um, matching up the nails to my nails I have small hands there were only like two of these that were bigger than this. So that is good. All right, next one. 
these bottles you can't really can't really squeeze these it's a very very hard plastic there you go come on maybe in the past I've just been a little stingy about putting on enough glue when you put your nail on you put it on hold it for a moment and then slide it off because you don't want to get your nail stuck on there it is not pretty that happened to me um, I know I've said it in other videos where I actually the first time I ever put nails on my finger no my fingers got stuck like this I was in Las Vegas I had to go down to the uh, little stores and spend like eight dollars for the smallest bottle of nail polish remover I had ever seen that was like six years ago it was a good trip but there's nothing scarier than your skin you can't separate it and when it did come off because I soaked it in the polish there was a little ripping of the skin that feels good I'm going to do the rest of them and then I'll be right. back I think it was hard to see my nails the pink on pink it's a little my nails are a little darker than this but I found this lovely piece of blue tissue yeah. I have the nails on and they are long I couldn't even turn my camera back on using this hand. I don't know how people function. It is now time to cut them down. I have nail clippers and I have the super duper ones. Good quality nail clippers are very important. So let's take them down. They're hard. They're very hard. They're just a little hard to get in between the um, clipper blade. I am now looking under the nail and I can see my natural nail. And this is just a little bit longer than my natural. So let's get the emery board. and bring it down it looks very nice and it's hard I have to say that these are just as hard as the glamnetics I don't know the price of these I will go on um, Walmart and put the price okay I am going to bring these down so I have all the nails on and they look quite lovely this color is okay for me it's a good color but I wish it was more pink it's more like a mauve and it's what I had so we need to use what we have so here are the two hands my old lady hands alright I am going to put the other side on they went on really fast I think it's because I put them on quite a bit now and um, I think the most important thing is and let me do it put the glue on the back of the nail always read the directions because some of them are a little different some say put the glue on the nail bed and your nail this is just on the false nail now when you put it on make sure you're generous make sure it's nice and shiny and especially on the bottom where it goes down near your cuticle flip put it on and do some action don't let that nail stay right there because if you do could get it stuck I had a little bit of a mishap over here I can feel a little bit of glue on that that fingernail but put it on slide off put it on slide off and then after you do that a few times then you can just hold it and I am counting to 30 um, when I trimmed down when I trimmed my other hand there was no problem no looseness no nothing and these nails are nice and hard I thought the glamnetics well the glamnetics are very hard other brands are not so there you go 
this is the length that I wear and this needs to be trimmed down. So this one is my length and that one is the length of the um oh, I can't do it. See how long it is? So I'll do the rest of them and I'll be back. I have the other hand done and if you can see the difference in the length This finger's going in a little bit. I hope Mr. Arthritis isn't starting to visit me. Oh yeah, it's going in. Or do I have, or do I just have this on crooked? I hope it's on crooked. <laughs> there you go. So the best tip I can give you is, I was very generous putting the glue on the back of the nail. And maybe because of that, I had more seeping out than I usually have. So when you lay that nail down with the glue on, just press it for a moment and come off it, and come off it. But do you see that back finger? You can get stuck there too. So press it and move it and maybe go like this. I can feel the glue on this finger and on this finger, cause that's the one I used when I was doing this, no, yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. So put it on, slide off. Put it on and slide it off. Okay, I am going to give these a trim and I'll be done. It is done and they look great. Perfect, just perfect. This one's a little, this one, is a little longer than that one. I'll have to take it down, but they're perfect. So now what I do is I have this little case that I got at Dollar Tree and in it, I shall put my spare nails, the glue, an emery board, clippers. Um, these are extras. I know that's why I put them in there. Little scissors and this cuticle pusher. Um, that's an extra, so I put it in there. And then I like this little nail file. I am partial to the uh, brush on. Will it fit? Oh, it does. It fits, it fits. You know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to add this nail polish wipe in here and it fits fine, but I do put an elastic on it. And this goes in my purse so that I have it with me in case I have an emergency. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope um, you got something from this video about putting on, you know, false nails. Please, please do that when you're putting them on. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and if you're not a subscriber already, I think that would be great if you could be a subscriber. You take care. Bye-bye.